I'm Katie Neal from Odyssey Country, and we're here at the Reverb at the Hard Rock Cafe in Nashville for CMA Fest. Thanks to our friends at Simple Green, sitting down with the one and only Haley Witters. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so good. It's so great to see you. How was the uh, first day of CMA Fest for you? It was good. It was actually really good today. I mean, it's not as blazing hot as usual, I feel like. So I. it was pretty good. Was I was good. cracking up at your post that was like, happy CMA Fest. Don't forget your hanky for the boob sweat. And I was like, oh my God, that's the so true. Sweat. <laughs> Apparently that's called swoob. Swoob. Did oh, you know that? Like swoob. Someone, yeah, someone uh, <laughs> commented and said swoob. That's incredible. I also had not seen someone use the term hanky in a while. And I was like, you know what? Where the hanky's been? <laughs> I'm a grandpa. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's so great. I was so excited for you in the last couple of weeks, just seeing you take home this ACM win, which was just huge, huge, huge. And for so many artists winning in that category, like is just always the beginning of such an amazing trajectory and you've been on such a roll, but how does it feel now that you've had some time to like soak up this win? Does it still feel surreal? Yeah, it really does. I mean, I haven't got it yet in the mail. I think like when I see <gasps> it, you know, yeah. then it'll really hit me. But I mean, it's, I still just feel like on a cloud, you know, it's such something I've dreamt of forever and to have been there and gotten to perform mm -hmm. and just like, you know, really just be in it. I mean, it, that I'm still on that high. Have you picked out a spot where you're going to put it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know, this is new for me. Mm -hmm. The trophies, the plaques, all of this. And so it's just like, you know, it's a little, it's freaking me out a little bit. I got to find a place. Speaking of trophies and plaques, this is obviously a huge career milestone. What's like the next one in your sights that you would be excited about? Number one. Number one. Country Radio. <laughs> We're working on it. We're yes. working on it. Let's talk about everything she ain't, which is yeah. currently top 20 right now, which yes. is so exciting. Woo. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Um, Yes, it's nuts. I mean, I've been in town for like 15 years and always wanted to be on country radio. Grew up a kid in the cornfields of Iowa, just driving around, listening to country radio and um, always dreamt of being on it one day. And so to be here, I mean, everything she ain't has been at radio for almost a year, maybe now. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, um, it's just been my whole world has changed in the last year. It's been the coolest thing. And I think, you know, haven't been here for so long and you know, knowing how it feels to be on the bottom and, and have to work for every single step up, it just makes all of these things that are happening right now just that much sweeter, you know? For sure. And I just feel like there's so many people, like I saw it at the ACNs, like so many people rooting for you. Like oh. I remember we were at Radio Row and like some of your label oh, mates okay. were like, yay, like, congratulations. Oh. Like that was just really cool. Like I feel like everyone in town is a huge Haley Witters fan. Well, I've been here a long freaking time. And I mean, I just feel like... <laughs> The reason I'm still here is for, because of all of those people who've like supported me and kept me going in those moments of doubt and and keep kept pushing me along. And so um, it just felt like a fun night for all, all of us, I guess. Then, it you is. Know? Who's one of your people that you call when you're like having a moment of doubt and you need support? Like do you have an artist friend who you lean into? Um, a little bit. I mean, like the songwriting community definitely like keeps me going. I'm really close with a lot of the songwriters and, um, you know, I always call, I was joking about it. Cause that, to Neil, I was like, I always call her like for everything. I'm like, how do you do this on the road? How do you do that? You know? And, um, Lainey Wilson, she gave me a golden corn cob necklace. And that's kind of <laughs> just like my little, like, if I'm ever feeling insecure on a day or just like, I'm going to need an extra little boost of badassery. I just wear my golden corn cob from Lainey Wilson and it, it gives that. me some confidence. Yeah. That's so amazing. I think that you might have one of the best names for your fan club that I have ever heard. <laughs> yes. The corn stars, like who came up well, with that? Well, that's not that even the from? fan club. No, it's not. just like the fan club is the Heartlanders, but there's this whole group that's like all the fans have just started taking on the name corn, corn stars. stars. <laughs> I'm from Iowa, grew up in a cornfield. So all the corn puns, I mean, they keep me on my toes. My ears are open all the time, you know? I love that. I grew up in Illinois. So whenever people yeah. ask where you're from, I'm like, Illinois, in the middle of a cornfield. You've never exactly. been. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Did you grow up like doing the detasseling of corn? Did you get yeah, roped into in the that? summer and stuff? Like, yeah, I mean, I grew up, my dad does crops and like my aunt had, I mean, straight up like homesteading before homesteading was a thing, you know, and my grandpa did sod and all that. So, oh yeah, what happens in a cornfield stays in a cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then you have been working on new music. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about this. Like, what yes. can you say about this next chapter? I mean, it feels like, 
it feels like everything she ain't 2.0 kind of, you know, it's just like still a lot of that same sound, which I feel like I've really just gotten kind of rooted in like my sound and who, and who I am. And so I feel like it's that and, and just bigger, you know, bigger and better, but still like same old me. That's so great. I can't wait to hear it. I'm yeah. really excited. And then you just all of May were playing a bunch of tour dates with Shania Twain. Yes. What were some of the highlights from this tour? Man, her outfits were so fun to watch. I mean, because she's changing it up like every night. So it was really fun to get to see what she was coming out wearing. The crowd was awesome. The crowds were awesome every night. She puts on an insane show. And it was like night one, it kind of just hit me. You know, it hadn't really yeah. hit me until like night one. And I'm standing side stage and she comes out and just hearing her voice on all of these songs that I just grew up, you know, just like idolizing um that it's was like so the wild moment. how many shania twain songs you can store in yes, your brain yes i know like, like every time i'm like oh i won't know every song on this album i know every yes, single song every single song was a hit man that was crazy to see that in action do you feel like what do you feel like you learned maybe from shania watching her perform or the way that she runs things that you took away from that i mean she's so like just magnetic like there's so much energy and like she still just has it all. And I think like for me, it's watching someone who can be such a star, like a, like a pop star, like just a general old star, like a big old star and seeing how she still feels like very intimate and very like true still, you know, mm -hmm. I think that was really cool to see. That's so amazing. Haley Witters, thank you so much for stopping by to see Thanks us today. For this me. is so wonderful. I'm so excited for you, this song climbing up the charts, and then to be able to hear this new music hopefully soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.